Today we're going to learn how to lay out a transition. The measurement we are going to use our circumference, not diameter. First, we're going to get the small circumference of the, of the piping with the insulation. And then we're going to get the big circumference of the piping with the insulation. As well, we're going to use the distance between the small and big circumference. The tools we are going to be using are a divider, a circumference ruler, and something to mark your layout. It could be a marker or your scriber. First, once we get our measurement for our circumference from both for both sides, we're going to need our distance. What we're going to do is mark our distance, leave about four or five inches on the bottom of the sheet metal, right? It's a sheet metal right here. On the bottom of the sheet metal, start at about four or five distance from here and mark the distance. Let's say the distance is 26. We'll mark 26 from here to here. Then we'll mark the circumference. Half of the circumference from here to here and the other half of the circumference from here to here. On the top line of the distance, we're gonna mark we're gonna mark the small circumference, half from the center of your distance to here, and the other half from the center of your distance to here. Once we get both distance and the small circumference and the big circumference marked, from one end of your big circumference to the other end. Of your small circumference crossing the distance we're going to make a mark which is going to be this one line once we make that mark we're going to make another line intersecting intersecting both mark the white mark and the green line right here once we have that we're going to open your divider with both green and white line meets and where it starts between the red and white line over here. You can open your disc, your divider at that distance. Now keep in mind, depending how far is that distance, your divider may not make it that far. So what you may have to do is get you a, a, a band, and from one end of the band, you see your punch. You can mark right here, and then you will just have to cut. You 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 will just have to cut your band to help you make that curve of that distance so once you do that what you're gonna do is start making your curve so one end of your divider will stand right there and this end of your divider will move making a curve it will create this green line lime green line right here you just got to go about that far right and then you do the same you open your divider from this end, which will be your zero point, to to where the yellow and white line meets over here on this end, on the small circumference. And once you repeat that, you will make the same curve. You don't gotta go all the way. You just gotta make about half, you know, half a curve or a quarter of a curve. Once you now, once you do that, you open your divider to a three quarter. From, from half an inch to a three-quarter crimp, depending on how big it's going to be a transition. Most of the time, I use a three-quarter crimp. Your three-quarter crimp will be right here on this dotted lines. So just mark three-quarter from your green line all the way to your dotted lines right here. And then you're going to open your divider at that distance, right? So from here, keep in mind you don't move this end of the divider. This is what's going to stay in place all the time. All you're going to move this end of the divider, and you're going to move it here. You're going to make your crimp, your three-quarter crimp, all the way around. Now, if you, uh, most of the time your, your transition is going to be waterproof. So what you need to make is the notches. And those notches could vary depending on how big is your transition. If it's a small transition, I go up to, you know, three quarter, an inch. If it's a big transition, 
I'll probably do about an inch and a half, two inches on the notches right here. So depending on the, uh, how big it's going to be your transition, just mark, let's say it's going to be three quarters, three quarters from the orange line going inside. And you're going to open your transition, your divider, right, from, from this end to this end right here. You're going to mark your three-quarter line. That's what you're going to create. Once you do that, with your circumference ruler, we'll also, you also have uh, inches or your tape measuring. What you could do is, let's say your big circumference was uh, 50, right? So open your, your circumference ruler in a curved way and mark 25 inches going this way, and you mark it here. And then you mark 25 inches going that way, and you mark it here. Now you have a total of 50, right? What we're not going to forget to do is add. So, for example, from here to here, we have 50. What we don't want to forget is to add the lap, right? So you make sure you add 3-inch lap or more, depending on how big is your transition and depending on what material you're working as well. So three inch or more lap is okay. Now, one more thing I wanted to point out. Now, keep in mind that what we just did here, everything we lay out, that will be just half of your transition, right? Half of your pattern. Once you finish cutting out this piece, you're gonna have to flip it to cut to cut out the next piece. If it's a, if it's a small transition, you can flip it the other way and you can make you know into one piece. You can make this into one piece. But if it's a, it's a big transition and you need two pieces, you're gonna have to make it in two pieces and copy the other half the exact exact way. Other than that, guys, this is all I got, and I hope this video helped out. This is some content I wanted to share with you all. And let me know if you like this way of me showing you how to lay out a pattern so we can make more videos like this. Also to get them involved in our online courses. Thank you all.